Right. Now we're coming to the crucial moment. <coughs> Irish. I mean, the Irish have the best jokes in the world. Well, I can remember uh, one occasion when I did crack a joke. <laughs> in fact, actually, at an earlier session, I made a joke, <laughs> and one person laughed. That was my wife. <laughs> <laughs> And she's laughing or again. Yeah. <laughs> more seriously, if you come across a politician who talks to you about his vision, then I rec you should recommend to him that he go and see an optician. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used that in my Nobel speech. Wow. And later that evening at the, at the dinner there was afterwards, as you know, uh, this very serious Norwegian came up to me and said, it is not appropriate on a serious occasion to make jokes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen, your favorite. Well, I've actually been struggling with jokes and I have a headache trying to think about one to give, <laughs> but I'll give one which is a little bit rated R, so I think it's good for this audience. So we go to North Korea and the next morning, one of the girls from South Korea came to me and said, oh my God, our room was bombed. I said, how did you know? She said, there's cameras everywhere in our rooms. Really, yes, I was sitting, she said she was sitting watching the mirror and a flash went off. So, and she's into IT, so for her, that was an indication that there was camera in the room. And I said, okay. And she said, but why are you not concerned? I said, well, I feel sorry for the person who was looking through the camera in my room. Before I take a bath, every morning I dance to African music nude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think there's one person that really deserves to win the prize, and that's the person who invented the door knocker. Invented the door knock? No bell. No bell. <laughs> 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 so it's partly a joke and partly a truth, so it's up to the audience, you have to figure out. When I was a child, I had a dream that one day I will shake hand with a Nobel laureate. So it was in 1992, uh, I had a chance to meet uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama, and uh, we were sharing dice, so he was sitting beside me, so I shook hand. And then, as usual, he touched my head. So I was so thrilled. I thought that I should not wash my hand and my head for a few days. So day before yesterday, we were celebrating Dalai Lama's birthday. Right, right. So I asked him that His Holiness tell me that how did I manage that time that I could not uh, wash my hand because I don't want to do it. But the day when the Nobel Peace Prize was conferred on me and announced, I could not believe. It came from the media and I was Googling immediately and I could not. So finally I found that, yes, it's true, that I won the, uh, I was conferred with the Nobel Prize. So I immediately rushed to, I was sitting in my room, so I <laughs> rushed to my mirror and I put my hand on the mirror, mirror and started taking selfie. <laughs> so that I can shake the hands with the Nobel laureate and I can take a picture also which was not in the case of Dalai Lama. Beautiful, yeah. I'm actually no good at telling not only stand-up yeah, comedian only, jokes but sit-down only... comedian jokes. But I will tell you something in favor of the media Oops. that when I call my mother uh, I when, when I, I was in America, I happened to be visiting America, gone for Mabu Wilhuck's memorial meeting. So five o'clock in America, I wake up. And I called my wife and told her that uh, there's some good news. I told my mother, and she said, no, I will believe it when I see it in the media. Ah, <laughs> there you are, that's a sensible one. Yeah. <laughs> So a minister from an Indian state visits a counterpart in, in Europe, in one of a state in Europe. And uh, he goes to the minister's house, and it's a quite a large house, and you know, with big gardens and so on. 
And he says, uh, I didn't realize you ministers got paid such a lot. And the minister's house was on top of a hill. And he said, do you see that highway over there? And he said, yes. And he said, 10%. Uh -huh. okay. So I said, oh, I see, okay. And then, you know, they have a discussion. And then he says, you know, you must come and visit my state. You know, when you, when you come to Delhi, you should come to my state and, you know, I'll show you around and so on. So the minister, the German <coughs> minister comes there and he says, okay, what's up? So he says, come over to my house. And he shows them this enormous mansion, even bigger than this European guy's. He says, you know, I thought that your state was rather poor, you know? How come you're paid so much? He said, you see that highway over there? And the European says, no, I actually don't see anything. He says, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give a standing ovation to these wonderful, and the Queen. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Indeed.